Good morning, everyone. Are you ready for day three of Winter Ram? Come on. Will you go ahead and stand up on your feet as we get ready to step into worship this morning? How many people just have already had life-changing moments with God over the last two days? Come on, it's awesome. Well, listen, the nature of God is not to have your greatest moments behind you but in front of you. The Bible says that we go from strength to strength, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And that's certainly true of this week and what God wants to do in your life. Listen, this is the last day, say the last day of 2019. Tonight we're stepping into 2020 and listen, God is going to do so much to set the tone for this new year. Just before we begin to worship, two quick announcements. A reminder to all the leaders in the room that if you'd like to join Miss Karen this morning for a special leadership session that is just down the road, you'll exit OCI, take a right. Just down the road on the left, there's Dwelling Place Church International where we are hosting a leadership session for any leader in the room that would like to go and attend that session with Miss Karen. That's happening right now. It's just about to get started. Also, second announcement is this afternoon at 2 o'clock, um, there may have been a little bit of confusion with information on the website, but at 2 o'clock this afternoon, or whenever we begin the service between 2 and 2.30, we'll be back right here in the OCI sanctuary and having um, a time of equipping, training, growing together in the Lord, all here together this afternoon. So, how many people are ready to worship? Come on, we've got Matt Gilman and his the team here ready this morning. Let's begin just by lifting our hands to the Lord. Lord, we are full of expectation and longing and desire for your presence. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done. But Lord, we thank you those things are not a ceiling over us this morning, but they are a launching pad under our feet. Lord, to take us into fresh places with you, new places with you. Lord, we want to see your heart and hear your heart like we never have before. We want to see, like John, see that door open in heaven. And we want to hear that voice saying, come up here. Lord, we want to hear that deep within our own hearts. And we respond. As it says in Psalms, Lord, when you say, seek my face, our hearts respond to you. Your face, O oh Lord, will I seek. We are hungry for you. We desire you this morning, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Make Matt Gilman welcome as he comes to lead us this morning. Just this morning, I've just been feeling the sweetness of the presence of God. And uh, I think sometimes it's easy to get into a formula of how conferences are supposed to go. And we've got to start off with a fast, jumpy song, and then we've got to go into the deeper moments later. I feel like we can start deep. I feel like there's a grace. There's a grace here to start deep. Yes, there we go. Perfect. But I would just love this morning just to acknowledge that the presence of God is with us. He promised that where two or more are gathered in his name, he would be there in their midst. His name is Emmanuel, God with us. And I want to just encourage you, this after, especially after last night. We have the uncontainable power and presence of the true and living God on the inside. You have God living inside of your frame. And I just want to acknowledge the Holy Spirit this morning. Would you lift your hands to heaven with me? And we just say, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we honor your presence here. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would take the things of Jesus and declare them to us this morning. Would you glorify the Son, Lord? We're not looking for 
We're not looking to a stage or a platform or a person other than Jesus. And we ask that only you would be glorified, Jesus. And now just across the room, just begin to gently lift up your voice. If you have your prayer language, if you got your prayer language last night, use it right now. Come on. Just begin to lift up a song. Just begin to lift up a melody. If you don't have any words to say, just sing, oh, oh, oh. Come on, all across the room, just begin to engage your spirit with God right now. Just look to heaven and just begin to sing from the overflow. Just sing from the overflow. Just sing from the overflow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Jesus, we don't want to live on yesterday's encounter. I believe there's more today. We believe there's more today. I feel like I feel like this morning is just I feel like God has ordained this as a holy moment for us. And I keep, throughout this week, I've just been remembering when Moses and 70 of the elders climbed a mountain and it says they went up and they, and they saw God sitting on his throne and it said they ate and they drank with him. Moses and 70 of the elders had a meal with God together. I can't help but think that there is a corporate encounter available to us at this conference just like that. What if God showed up for all of us to see together and whatever that looks like, I don't know, whatever he wants to do, I just want him to come. <laughs> I just want the manifest glory of God. I want the atmosphere of heaven to permeate this house. Will you go there with me? Will you go there with me? Just sing this with me. I need you more, more than yesterday. I need you more, more than words. More than words can say, I need you more than ever before. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Sing it again. I need you more. I need you. 
this vein and wherever Matt and Kelly feel from the Holy Spirit to lead us. I just want to give a little language and context to what I believe the Lord is doing in the room this morning. The last couple of days have been about laying things down, dedication, consecration, and filling with the Holy Spirit, saying yes, and we're never going to abandon that place of saying yes in fresh ways. But I feel like this morning and today is not just about what are you laying down and what are you letting go of and what are you being set free from. I believe today and this morning is about getting our hearts intertwined with the heart of the Father. Getting our desires intertwined with the desires of the Father. That our hearts are being captured by the splendor and the beauty of our King. And in that place of being enraptured with His beauty, all of a sudden our hearts are beginning to beat with His heart. All of a sudden our eyes are beginning to see through His lens. All of a sudden our ears are beginning to hear the sounds of heaven. And so if you would just lift your hands this morning, as Matt said a few moments ago, that encounter with Moses and the elders of Israel on the mountain with the Lord, they beheld the Lord and they feasted in his presence. Lord, we want to feast in your presence this morning. Lord, we want to come to this event, not just to lay something down, but Lord, to pick something up. We're here today, Lord, because we want our heart to be intertwined with your heart, our eyes to be captivated by your beauty, for our lives to be enraptured with who you are. Lord, we hear the call, and we say yes to the call. Lord, we say yes to coming up where you are. We say yes to beating with your heart. We say yes to having our eyes and our ears open to behold your glory and to hear your voice. We say yes to pushing further, to coming higher, to going deeper. We say yes, Father, in Jesus' name. As it is in heaven, let it be on earth. As it is around your throne, let it be here in this room. Angels. 
feel there's joy in this room. There's liberty in this room. I want you to feel comfortable like you're in your living room with your father. And you can just jump into that joy. I feel like you can reach out and grab your miracle. There's joy in this room. Jacob, come up here. I, mean, I just feel loose at joy. Come on, right now, all over the room, depression, anxiety is breaking off of people's life. If you struggle with depression or anxiety, listen, the Bible says, in the presence of God is the fullness of joy. Come on, shout joy. Come on, shout joy. Right now, all over the room, the Lord is releasing the joy of the Lord. Father, we thank you that depression has to go. We thank you that fear has to go. We thank you that suicidal thoughts has to go because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Come on, let's go back into it. Joy, 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 joy. I'm praying in my shame. 
Some are being set free right now. <laughs> I just feel their angels being loosed all across this room. Those ministering spirits sent straight from the throne of heaven. Thank you for what you're doing. We ask for more. More. Even right now, God, just release the increase. Release the increase right now. Come on. I just 
just want to stay here Caught up in your presence Caught up in your glory I don't want to move on I just want to stay right here Caught up in your presence I'm caught up in your glory I don't want to move on I just want to stay right here I'm caught up in your presence I'm caught up in your glory I don't want to move on I just want to stay right here I'm caught up in your presence Caught up in your glory I don't want to move on I just want to stay right here I'm caught up in your presence I'm caught up in your glory I don't want to move on I just want to stay right here I'm caught up in your presence I'm caught up in your glory I just want to stay right here, caught up in your presence, caught up in your glory, cause we were made to see glory. his presence so amazing isn't his presence so glorious isn't it just so wonderful I keep getting the sense in the room today that there are some of you that in these moments in this atmosphere of worship in this atmosphere of breakthrough in this atmosphere of nothing is impossible with God that there may be some of you in here today that you are like, what? Nothing is impossible with God? And there may be some of you in here today that are like, I had no idea that this life was even possible. And today, the Lord is expanding. I can just see it's like this balloon. And God is just expanding. He's expanding your vision. He's expanding your capacity for Him. As last night and the night before and yesterday, you have laid things down and you have surrendered it all to His feet. And you have poured out everything that you have to Him. This morning, he, it's like He's lifting this veil back. And He's showing you everything. Everything that is possible in him. He is showing you that yes, you can live free from depression. You can live delivered from anxiety. You can live the life that you have only dreamed about. All of those things that you thought were impossible, that life that you thought is impossible with God, guys. I want you guys just to lift your hands again. This is just a, an act of complete surrender to God and saying, God, I surrender even those mindsets that made me think that you had limits. And you give it to God and say, God, take off all the limits. Take off all the limits. So right now, God, as a company, we lift our hands and we say, take off all the limits. Take off all of our boxes. Take off all of our mindsets. We surrender in you. We want to go deeper in you today, God. We want more of you today, God. Show us the impossible today, God. I think even right now, I can, I can see it in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is beginning to reveal. 
of our boxes. Show us the impossible, God. We surrender it all to you, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm ready for furious love. I'm ready for glory. I'm ready for kingdom come. I'm ready for deeper. I'm ready for furious love. I'm ready for glory. I'm ready for kingdom come. I'm ready for deeper. I'm ready for furious love. I'm ready for glory. I'm ready for kingdom come. I'm ready for deeper. Come on, sing. I'm ready for furious love. I'm ready for glory. I'm ready for kingdom come. I'm ready for deeper. I'm ready for furious love.
Hey. 
Your praise say too much this is a holy moment but if you're feeling the presence of heaven if you're feeling the presence of Holy Spirit touch you right now just begin to thank him I think gratitude is your way forward into the more gratitude will see you through to the more gratitude will see you through to the more if you feel his presence just acknowledge it and say thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit oh we want more just stay here, just stay here. the Lord is here the Lord is here I just keep feeling there's angels in the room everywhere all over the place I feel like just angels moving around and touching people where they need miracles touching hearts where they need their heart just touched and healed and restored 
touching minds, bringing minds back into order. It feels like there's angels in the room, even the Prince of Peace, I feel like is walking around with angels in the room. And when the Prince of Peace walks around in the room and he touches a mind and he touches a heart, everything comes into order. Your spirit, soul, and body feels whole and sanctified and washed. There's just healing happening even in the room. I feel like people are starting to have visions. Even during the worship, even during the worship, people are having visions of heaven, starting to see pictures and visions. Eyes are being opened in the room. One of the words that came up here that one of the chosen members had, I saw the same word, there's just healing. There's scars just on arms. I saw a scar on the underarms where you're cutting yourself on your underarms and it's just being healed right now. There's so much healing in the room. It's being washed off, almost like the Lord is just touching, it's washing off. I see just a golden light on people. Just keep receiving, keep your eyes maybe even closed. Maybe you feel the joy of the Lord, so you have to jump in the joy of the Lord. And that is quite okay. When you're in the living room of the Lord, when you're in the Father's house, you can come to Him like a child. You could come to Him as a child, just for your posture even. I heard a dream one time from a friend where this particular girl had a dream. She was in front of God the Father. He was on a huge seat. And the father said, hey, my child, and picked her up and put the daughter on his lap. And the daughter said, what, I mean, the father said, what do you want to know, daughter? And the daughter said, tell me about the 2000s. And the father said, oh, daughter, the revivals that never end. The revivals that never end, daughter. I feel like the Lord is loosing dreams and visions where you start to hear the voice of the Lord, where you start to see visions with the Father. Let the dreams of the Lord, let the Father's dreams, even your night seasons, every torment in your night season, I command every torment and fear to bow down to the name of Jesus. That you would dream the dreams of the Lord. There's even healing, I see a golden light is coming over people's, there's shin splints, there's a, a knee issue on the front right here, and there's shin splints, they're being healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. There's a knee issue, you knee, like reconstructive surgery or a big, a larger surgery on your knee, it's being healed right now, just move that around. You couldn't bend it out straight almost, and now you're going to bend it out straight. There's just a loosing of people's legs even, I feel legs just multiple legs being healed even right now. It's almost, I, I see angels moving, they, they look like bars of light, just light moving around and touching bodies. It's like light coming around bodies and coming around areas in your body. I see light just moving oh, just through people's minds even, right down into their system. I think there's, there's healing happening. It's almost going down into the system. There's a liver issue. I think this is a word early. There's liver and there's stomach issues that are being, I see light all over it. There's a, uh, there's a healing happening right now where you couldn't eat proper foods. You've been, um, you've dialed back all your eating habits into certain areas specific. And there's light going through your stomach right now, not through your system. There's like intestines being healed. I see light going through intestines in Jesus' mighty name. That's happening right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we command the healing power of the Lord. There's someone that has ribs that were cracked that were never healed fully. Or there's a rib issue up in here. It's being healed right now. It's on the side. In Jesus' mighty name, being healed right now. Being healed right now. Being healed right now. I see there's like lumps. I, I don't, can't tell there's lumps on the skin. I just see lumps on the skin. I think one of those is on the back. Even you're being healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. If that's you, just reach up and grab the healing. Sometimes we just have a movement towards it. 
I want to see it too. I want to know it too so I can agree with you, so I can agree with you. There's ears. I see there's a, there's a, there was a two problem and um, it sh something hit or caused the hearing to go out on the side of the ear. One of your ears is being healed right now. In Jesus' my name, you're going to hear a pop. I feel fluid coming out of somebody's ear. In Jesus' mighty name, healing in the ears, total restoration in the ears, being opened back up and hearing and hearing. You might have to go test that out. Ooh, I feel that. You might have to test out your ear and go see and check it out. There's healing actually happening in the ears, more than one. I command every ear to be open in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Every ear in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open in Jesus' mighty name. Be open in Jesus' mighty name. Every ear being created, even areas being recreated in Jesus' mighty name. There's this healing. There's healing. I can feel healing. All I can feel warmth going all over my neck, all over my shoulders and here. I feel you. People are going to feel something moving across, almost across their hips. I know this might be a bunch of people. But I feel I feel heat and I feel like oil. It feels like hot on my back. There's healing all over the back. I'm just going to say all over the back because I can feel it coming down. Every pain. If that's you. Just start moving around. I'm going to command pain to go right now. There's this warmth. Just the Lord is moving around. There's power in the room. Lord, I command every area of pain, every area of arthritis. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Off the body. Off the body. Off the body in Jesus' mighty name. Every pain. I command pain to go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You might just have to start moving around a little bit and checking yourself out. It's always incredible that when Jesus gives a word, someone starts doing something. They start doing something, they start moving, they start acting in a way where they know they can feel or test that thing out and see what the Lord has done. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, there's been a, uh, some type of chronic or, or, or sleep deprivation, chronic sleeping issues. Who is that actually? I feel like I, I want you to come. You might need to come up here. If you needed that, come up here real quick. I see this crown thing. It's had real wrestle in your sleep. And uh, it just almost feels like it's been chronic or constant. Come down right here. It's Pastor Brian Can you get, or, or Pastor Jacob. If you guys just pray over. Who else? I feel like there's somebody else. I can't see someone. I feel like you're a little bit older also as well. There's a sleep thing. Come on down. Come on down. Someone that has, has had frustration, they've had night terrors, and they can't tell if it's from the Lord or not. Come right down here. Come right down there. The Lord is breaking. Uh, I think I saw you. Come over here and pray. Sam, Pastor Sam. Oh, your answer. <laughs> Elise, can we get a couple more people down? Betsy, some of you guys. Stacy, Jesus mighty name. Some of you guys, Nick, Taya, Natasha, okay. Jeez, just pray over a few people. I see sleep. It's like stolen the peace. And the Prince of Peace, when he's in the room, he restores peace and rest. I feel like stolen your energy and your strength. And may you feel like you can't catch up with your energy and your strength. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, my name. That word that was given earlier, they're just let them just pray and, and soak these people in prayer. That word that was given earlier about suicide, it's, it, that thing is coming off. It was like a yoke. I could feel it choking you out. You had a bad dream. There's someone in here that had suicidal issues, and you, you're having bad dreams too of fear, like something on your chest when you'd wake up trying to cover your mouth. And so it was hard. Who is that? I saw, I could feel like a, a spirit sitting on your chest when you wake up or when you sleep and it's almost covering your mouth. You're trying to say Jesus or wrestle it off. And it's just, that thing is going to be pulled off. I think it was an attack on your life. Who is that? Come down here. Come down here. Whoever that was. 
it was an attack on your life trying to make you feel suicidal, trying to make you feel restless and not good enough. Come down here. We're going to pull that thing off. It was an attack on your life. In Jesus' mighty name, come down here. Come down here because we need to pull that thing off in Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. There's sinus issues. I just feel the Lord sinus issues right now. He's opening that back up. That's a real thing. He's going to take care of that. There's no way we can pray for big miracles and can't pray for sinus issues. In Jesus' mighty name, we command the sinuses to be restored and open up and let the breath of the Lord come into the body, come through the nose. In the name of Jesus, every area of that issue dried up, that chronic issue even, dried up and broken. The chronic issue broken in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name. There's someone I keep seeing, um, I can't tell if it's a, a, a person. I, I just see a person in a bed, in a sick bed. I can't tell if that's a, and they can't, it's like they can't, they're having a hard time getting out of the bed. I don't know if that's your, your mother or father or, or a close parent or something like this. I see him in a sick bed. Who is that? I see the Lord, I literally see the Lord coming in to wake up Sleeping Beauty. Who is that? There's someone, I think I can see him on a bed, and they said they can't get up or can't wake up. Who is that? Come down here. I, I can't tell if they're in a coma or if they're in a sick bed. Come down here. I see the Lord saying, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, man. I can see the Lord actually. I see the Lord actually in the room with that person and waking that person up. Come down here. Okay, and waking that person up. Waking up Sleeping Beauty. Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray over this person right here. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus is waking up all kinds of things today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you've had a, a heart issue where your heart is, um, needs, like a, it's like a skipping or an a, a off heartbeat or there's something with the pumping of it, there's a heart issue. I feel like we're supposed to speak life over the heart issue too. Just raise your hand if that you, you feel like that's you. There could be, can we get a group of people around them to pray over them? W raise your hand again. Let's have some people get around them and pray over them. Raise your hand real quick. Put your hands on them. All those people right around them, put your hands on them. Put your hands on them and pray over their heart. Pray over their heart. Pray life. Pray the spirit of life is filling every of their heart, that their heart beats fully and strong, and the heart is restored and strong, and the blood of Jesus is beating through their heart, is beating through their heart. In Jesus' mighty name, total restoration, every heart issue, every heaviness being broken off, every heart issue being recreated and restored, recreated and restored, opening up heart valves, pumping blood, blood issues being restored, blood issues being restored in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I just see this. Keep praying. Keep praying over those people. Keep praying over those people. Break off every heaviness, everything. Keep praying over those people that need prayer right now. Don't stop. Don't stop. Pray it off of them. Pray the healing in and pray the heaviness off. I see just oh, something's a wave that's coming across the back. So just, if you're in the back, you might just receive. If you're in the back, put your hands out. If you're in the back, I just feel across the back. Put your hands out. I feel like the Lord is just coming across and putting things in hands. I feel like you'll feel the presence in your hands of tangible things in your hands. The Lord is just coming across the back. So just receive, put your hands out like this, like you're receiving something from the Father, like you're receiving something. Almost looks like people or stuff coming with buckets, pouring stuff out on the people in the back, pouring out on them in Jesus' mighty name, pouring out on the people in the back, every person on the back being touched. There's healing gifts. If you want a healing gift, you'll feel, you're going to feel heat or you've already felt it in worship. You, be, you feel a tingling or heat on your Hands, who is that? Raise your hands. That is a healing. You, there's a healing gift that was loosed. I feel that on you, Sky. I feel that on you, Sky. Lord, I just loose over Sky in the name of Jesus. 
over Sky in the name of Jesus. George, is that you? Go pray over Sky. Lord, I just feel that over Sky, there's healing power, healing strength, inner healing and the power of healing over you. The strength, there's healing gifts in hands. Sky, even miracles, even miracles. There's something where miracles are gonna come out of your love, out of your love, the strength of your love, Sky. In Jesus' mighty name. If you felt that in your hands, just put your hands like that. Just receive that gift. Because that was a gift. The Lord was actually touching you, giving you a gift. Giving you healing power. Giving you healing power. There's someone named Josiah. Oof. Someone young. I think it was a young, his name Josiah. Where is that? I hear Josiah Justice. I think there's justice for Josiah. Where is Josiah? Are you in the room? Where are you? Right there. I feel, I hear justice. There's justice for Josiah. Everything that the enemy stole. And the Lord is also going to raise you up. You're going to have a kingly, a mantle, anointing. So people put your hands around him, on him. Josiah, there's a kingly, almost apostolicish, like a, you'll be a father, even at a young age. There's something that is uh, like a kingly, a crowning you. And the Lord is going to come and bring justice where everything's been stolen. I see the justice of the Lord, a kingly thing over you, Josiah. The power of the Lord, the justice of the Lord. The Lord is going to show you how to sit in his seat of justice. I hear that for you, Josiah. He's going to learn, he's going to teach you how to sit in his seat next to him where you can judge and discern and rule with the wisdom of the Lord, with the awesomeness of the Lord, understanding the kingly place of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I feel also a Sarah. There's a promise. I can't tell if it is a Sarah, but there's a promise that you've been asking for the Lord for such a long time. I feel like it's for your family. Something for your family. Like Sarah, there's something. I, I feel it could be for even almost your like a parent almost. But there's something like a Sarah for your family. There's a promise. Sarah, if, if it is, I think it actually might be a Sarah. In Jesus' mighty name. But if I promise the, the whole thing, just raise your hand. Just raise your hand if you feel like that's you. If there is a Sarah, let me know. Raise two hands. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Anoint that lady right there. Who is that? There's something moving around you in the green right there with two hands up. Put your hands on her. There's something of the Lord. I think the Lord is actually putting a garment on you. A garment. That garment's even going to have joy in it. It's going to help restore even some areas. It'll be a, like a fresh breath. You're almost going to step into that, the person by the... You, is that Sarah? I feel like there's, you're stepping actually through a door into a new place. There's a literal new season the Lord has got you stepping into. Stepping into a brand new season. One season is literally ending, and you're starting a new season, and the Lord is putting new garments on you. And the old, the, the season of the past is over, and the new season of promise is coming in, in Jesus' mighty name. The new season of promise is coming in, in Jesus' mighty name. I feel a bunch of words. Is it? earlier that the Lord wanted to heal the impossible. So if you had a doctor report or if you know of someone who have had who has a doctor report that the doctors basically said we can't do anything for you, we don't have a cure, we don't have any natural medicine to heal you and you need healing in your body or you know someone who needs healing in their body, if you would just raise your hand. In Psalms 30, it says, I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. You saved me from the brink of death. Now I am fully alive, healed, and fully restored. And I declare that over you. And one thing I even felt to declare over you was that you will not die until you fulfill your purpose in your generation. 
And I declare that over you in the name of Jesus. And I speak life over every single impossibility that we serve a God of the impossible. I declare over you life. I declare that this sickness is cursed in the name of Jesus. And we declare healing over every single person. And I even break the fear of death off. If you've been dealing with this fear of dying prematurely, I just want you to lift your hands. And I just declare over you that you will not die before your time until you've fulfilled and served the purpose of God in your generation. I declare healing. I declare life over you. We break fear off. We break death off in the name of Jesus that no one will die prematurely in the name of Jesus. But we speak life. I declare life, life, life in Jesus' name. Come on, the Lord's just working throughout the room. As Josh said a moment ago, that it's it's the, the Lord is here, miracles are here. And we're releasing different things that the Lord is highlighting. But listen, each and every person receive, if you would just lift your hands to the Lord right now. Lord, we receive of your goodness. We receive of your glory. We receive of your presence, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Josh, would you? Come on, just keep on praying. Keep on speaking in tongues. Keep your hands raised. God is healing right now. I was seeing over a woman. Um, I feel like you're over in this area, but no matter if this word is for you, um, I was seeing a woman, and you had a nose injury, and ever since that injury, your right nostril has been closed. You haven't been able to breathe. You haven't been uh, uh, able to smell. Is that anybody in this room? Just wave your arm real big. Wave your arm real big. Right there. Okay. All right. Well, I just declare over you healing right now in the name of Jesus. If I can get some girls to go and just lay your hands over them, over her right now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing right now. Open up her nostril right now in the name of Jesus. We speak to her nostril and we say be made whole. Be restored in the name of Jesus. We release the blood of Jesus that heals over her body right now in the name of Jesus. We say full alignment right now in the name of Jesus. All right, I also saw a guy, I think you're a male, I was seeing the color red. I don't know if you're wearing a red t-shirt, but I feel like um, you're a male. I was feeling it over here, but um, I was seeing that you, you, have, you have your eyes, one is straight and one is barely crooked. It's like a lazy eye, but I was seeing the Lord bringing that eye back into alignment. So I declare right now in the name of Jesus and release healing over your eyeball. Is that anybody over here? Anybody over here, right here? So I release healing right now in the name of Jesus over your eye. I thank you, Father, for the blood of Jesus healing his eye right now in the name of Jesus. We say restoration to his vision, 2020 in the name of Jesus. I'm going to take your glasses off. Thank you, Father. We speak to his eyes. We say healing right now in the name of Jesus. 2020 vision, straight eyes in the name of Jesus. No more, no more in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. Samuel, will you come? Will you come? Yeah, Samuel Bentley. One thing I want us to do, and, and then um, we'll just see where the Lord takes us from here, perhaps back into worship, but perhaps into to, to more stuff. I'm not sure. Um, Samuel, would you release, even with that miracle with the eyes, would you release over our eyes, it, just whatever you're hearing or feel to share or just a prayer, whatever you're feeling in that, we just want to receive that and uh, have you release that over us. Amen. Matthew 13, 16 says, but blessed are your eyes because they see and blessed are your ears because they hear. Come on, if you have issues with your eyes, if you have issues with your ears, we're declaring over you. Psalms 139, that the body is fearfully and wonderfully made in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, every issue in the eye, we declare that it is open and that it sees. Not just that it is open, but it also sees in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, I want to share something real quick, and then I want to just release a prophetic word over you, something that I saw yesterday and again this morning. 2 Kings 6, there's a story of Elisha and his servant. Elisha's on the mountain, and there's an entire army that's coming against Elisha, and his servant is freaking out, which I would be doing too. 
if there's an entire army coming against me. But Elisha's calm. And then he says to his servant, listen, there are more who are for you than there are those who are against you. I want to declare that over you. Every wayward heart, every confused heart, every heart that seems heavy, that there are more that are for you than there are those who are against you. That's the truth that which we stand on. But then Elisha takes it one step further. Not just so that you can believe it in your heart, but then he says, Lord, open his eyes. Come on, it's not just that the belief in your heart that you know that there are, there, are, there are more for you than there are those who are against you, but that you actually get to see it. And the, the Bible says that Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes. And the servant's eyes were opened, and it says that he saw horses and chariots of fire all over the mountains surrounding Elisha. Here's the deal. His natural eyes were open, but his spiritual eyes were closed. He could only see the enemy's army and not the heavenly army. Come on, and this morning the Lord's going to open your eyes to not just see the attack of the enemy, but to see the defense from heaven. Come on, in Acts chapter 9, the Bible says that when Paul saw Paul had his encounter, it says that those who were around him heard the voice of Jesus, but they did not see anything. They could hear his voice, but they could not see his image. And then the Bible says that Paul, whose eyes were open, could not see anything for three days. So for three days, Paul was blind. And then the Bible says that a guy named Ananias came and prayed for Paul, and scales fell from his eyes, and that he saw. The Lord wants to open the eyes of your heart this morning. Not just your natural eyes, but the eyes of your heart to see him like you've never seen him before. The vision that I saw, oh, thank you, Jesus. The vision that I saw yesterday, because you can have your eyes open and not see anything if they are veiled. This morning, the Father wants to come and remove the veil from your eyes. What I saw was that the Father leading the bride down to present her to the bridegroom, to Jesus. And like, like many brides, especially uh, uh, traditional brides, they would wear a veil. Traditionally, it was the Father once they got to the altar right before the father would present the bride to the bridegroom, the last thing that he would do is remove the veil and give her a kiss. Come on, this morning, I see the father right before he presents you to Jesus, he is removing the veil and giving you a kiss. If you could see the expression of his eyes for you this morning, it is not one of anger or judgment. It is one of love and compassion that he is presenting to you, to the true lover of your soul, to Jesus Christ. And right before he does it, the first set of eyes that the eyes of your heart are going to see are his eyes. The second set of eyes that your eyes are going to see are the eyes of the lover of your soul, Jesus Christ. Come on, all across this room, I want you to put your hand on the shoulder beside you. I want us all to just touch and agree. I'm going to pray the same prayer that Elisha prayed when he prayed for his servant. Lord, open their eyes. But I want us to come into agreement in Jesus' mighty name. Micah. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word of the living God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that just like the Father removes the veil from the bride, that you are removing the veil, that the eye was created to see, Matthew 13, 16, but blessed are your eyes, for they see in Jesus' mighty name. I thank you, Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians 4, 4 says that the God of this world has blinded the mind of those who do not believe. But I declare right now in Jesus' mighty name that the God of this world is bound from this room. 
He has no access. We declare faith into the hearts and the minds of those, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, that in believing they see in Jesus' mighty name the gospel of the glory of Christ in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask right now that the veil is removed. Remove the veil. Remove the veil. Let our eyes lock this morning in Jesus' name. Let my eyes see your eyes. Let their eyes see your eyes, Lord. Open up the eyes of the blind. Open up the eyes of the blind. Open up the eyes of every blind one in Jesus' mighty name. Open up those, Lord, who've only been able to see the attacks of the enemy and not the defense from heaven. Oh, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Horses and chariots of fire surrounding them. Horses and chariots of fire surrounding them. There are more for you than there are those who are against you in Jesus' mighty name. There are more for you than there are those who are against you. More for you than those against you. More for you than those against you. You're moving into 2020 with 2020. You're moving into 2020 with vision. With vision in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, give the Lord a hand right there. Thank you, Lord, for that renewed vision. Come on, right there with those hands up and those eyes up. Let's now take the rest of this service and worship with fresh eyes that are open to the Lord. Lord, we love you. We thank you for opening our eyes today, Lord, for healing our bodies, for restoring our minds. And as we worship, we want to do it with an unveiled face, Lord, beholding the Lord, beholding your glory, seeing the angels of the Lord ascending and descending in the name of Jesus. We've seen, we've seen your faithful hand, your mercy without end, your mercy without end, the king, the king who bled and died, the God who sacrificed, let's sing this out. So be enthroned upon the praises of a thousand generations. You are worthy, Lord of all. And to you, the slain and risen King, we lift our voice with heaven, sing you worthy, Lord of all. Be enthroned, oh, be enthroned upon the praises of 
a thousand generations you are worthy Lord of all and to you the slain and risen King we lift our voice with heaven sing you worthy Lord of all and through this life Stay right there. Keep singing. Highest praises. Highest praises, Lord of all. Highest praises, Lord of all. Can we lift? 
lift our hands and sing it. Sing highest praises, Lord of all. We exalt you, Jesus. Highest praises, Lord of all. We
Just one more hand. Let's our hand one more time. Let's our hands to the Lord. Lord, we're speechless. We're overwhelmed by you, Lord. Your goodness, your glory. That you are coming, Jesus, to rule and reign. To wipe away every tear from every eye. Establish your kingdom here on earth as in heaven. Lord, we're overwhelmed by you, Jesus the King. Jesus the King, Jesus the King, we are amazed in awe, in wonder. You are wonderful, Lord, you're full of wonders. You're awesome and mighty. Lord, we're overcome by you. 
Thank you, Lord. Yeah, just give the Lord a, a, just a hand of just love and thanksgiving and praise. You're amazing, God. You're amazing, Lord. Listen, this is just, it's just, wow. I have no words for what the Lord's doing in each of us this week. I really am speechless. It's amazing. So listen, if you want to hang in this atmosphere, in this building, and continue to just pray and linger here, you can do that. If you need to go ahead and slip out and find your group and your leaders should already be back, if you're able to do that, go grab lunch. One quick announcement is we're going to have a little bit of an extended lunch break just due to some what we'll be, we'll be doing this afternoon and this evening, getting ready for New Year's Eve. So this is a little bit of an extended lunch break. The next service will begin at 3 o'clock. Say 3 o'clock. The next service will begin at 3 o'clock. So you've got three hours now before the next uh, service. Just to give you an extended break, time to eat, time to rest, journal, all kinds of stuff. We love you. Thank you for being here. We'll see you at 3 o'clock as we just keep going after this thing. All right. Thank you.